Did you know that throughout history, salt has often been more valuable than gold? And there's a good reason. Aside from being an important food preservative and making what we eat tastier, salt is essential for human life. But in larger quantities, salt can also be deadly. The components of salt, sodium and chloride, play a major role in our health. And salt is in a delicate balance with the amount of water in our bodies. But too much salt can raise blood pressure, and that can lead to all sorts of serious health problems, like an increased risk for heart attack, heart failure, stroke, kidney disease, and probably even stomach cancer and osteoporosis. The average American man eats about 10 grams of salt a day, and the average American woman eats about 7 grams. That's way too much, probably more than twice what is healthy. And if you're over 50 or have other risk factors, you should eat even less. A lot of people think that all the commotion about excess salt and high blood pressure doesn't apply to them, but actually about a third of adults already have hypertension and another third have prehypertension. High blood pressure and the health challenges it leads to are a really big deal. Heart attack is the number one cause of death in the United States, and stroke is the third. About 100,000 deaths each year have been linked to simply eating too much salt. There are a number of ways to lower your salt intake. Toss the salt shaker and don't add salt to the food you make. Ask restaurants not to add salt to your dishes either. Another good idea is to check sodium content on labels. Did you know that about 75% of the salt we eat comes from processed foods like breads, cereals, soups, deli meats, fish and poultry? And don't even get me started on fast foods. Salt hasn't traditionally been regulated by the US government because it's been considered grass or generally recognized as safe. But a national coalition has been working recently to require food manufacturers to limit the amount of salt they put in their products. It's already worked in the UK, Ireland, and Finland. And Japan, Australia, and Canada are also on board with this public health initiative. Now I know from my work as a nutritionist that change is difficult for a lot of people, even when the facts are clear and compelling. But the good news is I also know that a person's sensitivity to salt can be reset within about three to four months. So by slowly reducing your high salt intake, your taste buds can adjust to and appreciate the full range of flavors without feeling meals are bland. Now that's good advice worth its weight in salt.